Hello everyone, in this video we're going to set up a remapping of the keyboard. So the caps lock key will function both as control and escape. And so this is nice because you have two tabs, like say for control it's good for the like web browsers and things. So if you press control and then T, it'll open up a new tab, or you can do control tab or control shift tab to switch. And then it's also nice in Vim because in Vim, it helps you switch in and out of the normal and escape or normal and like insert mode. So if I press A, I'm allowed to type, but if I could quickly reach, if I press escape, it'll take me back into the ability to move. And so, you don't want to have to reach all the way up to escape. So it's really nice to switch back and forth with the caps lock. So we're going to have both of those, like escape and cap control, be in the caps lock key. So how we do that is there's a tool. Well, there's actually a GitHub repository. So I'll paste this in the description that you can link to, that you can find. But Tan Yuan has like a little kind of instructional page for each operating system. So with Windows, we want to download auto hotkey. And so I'm going to go to auto hotkey. And there were a couple issues that I had. So that's why I'm doing this video beyond just like following these instructions. So if you go to autohotkey.com, you can just download it off of Windows, download the or download it for Windows. So I'm just going to download the current version and it only takes like two seconds to install once it's downloaded. So I'm going to go to my file explorer. And oh, and I already actually have it install, or I already have this exe file here. So once you've downloaded it, you can just double click the exe for the auto hotkey. And it'll ask if you want to allow this thing to make changes. You'll hit yes. Once you hit yes, then we will have the ability to install it. So the express installation, I'll go ahead and click that. And then we don't need to run anything. You can view the tutorial if you want. I'm just going to close it out. The other thing that I forgot to mention is you want to undo or turn off everything that you may currently be using to edit your like hotkeys. So for example, Power Toys is, is a common one, and then Sharp Keys was the one that I was that I ended up using. And you may not have to turn them off permanently, but I think while getting this set up, you want to turn it off and then try to see if you can turn them back on with auto hotkeys enabled. So if you're having problems or you have any hot or, or you might want to also remove any sort of shortcuts that you've added in your registry or anything. So I'll leave you to figure out how to do that. But what I ended up doing was I went to my add or remove programs and I just did a quick browse to make sure there was nothing in there already that was affecting it. And it turned out that I had sharp keys. So I turned that off and uninstalled it and I was able to get this auto hotkey thing to work. So anyway, we have auto hotkey installed now. So the next thing is we need to go to that GitHub repository. So that was linked to in this in this Tanyuan instructional page. So there's this script caps lock control escape dot ah ahk. So I'm going to click on this and I'm going to copy all of it. Control C and then I'm going to paste it into a new file. So I'm going to make a new, how did I do this before? I called it caps lock C T R L E S C A P E, and then not dot txt but dot a h k. And yes, okay, so we have caps lock control escape dot a h k. And so now I can open this with. My code editor. And then paste that script that was in that gist.github. So I'm going to paste all that here. 
and save it. Okay, so that's been saved and I have auto hotkey running already. So the next thing we can do is run this script and we'll see that it should work now. So if you right click, run script, then we can test it. So it should be running, let's give it a test. So I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna press the caps lock and it did not, it's still giving me a lowercase, so that's good. So now if I press caps lock and then press tab, it looks like it's working as a modifier key, so that's good. Now let's open up Vim. So I go to Vim Tutor. Now I'm in Vim and I can quickly, let's try A to get into insert mode and I press caps lock and it functions as an escape. So this is working. The only problem now is that every time you want to use caps lock for control and escape, you have to run this script here. So right click, run script, that's kind of a pain. So the way to get this to work on startup, for me, what I ended up having to do was right click and compile script. Okay, and that created a caps lock control escape.exe file, which kind of runs this. It's an executable version of this, of this script here. So now we can run this in our start in our startup. So we can get to that with our search bar. We can type in run, or you can do Windows, the Windows button and run, but for some reason that's not working for me. So I type in run here, open up this app, and you want to type in S-H-E-L-L -L colon start up, and then hit OK. And that will take us to this long directory path. Basically, there's a startup folder and the, the windows will run everything in this startup folder. And so what do we need to run? We need this to run here. So I'm gonna drag and drop this executable into here. And this should now run anytime or every time the computer starts up. So we're, we're done there, but one more thing that I wanna do is I just wanna move this off of my desktop. And because we have that executable file, you can go ahead and do that. But I wanna move it to somewhere that I can get to if I ever forget how to do this. So I'm gonna go to my C drive, my users, John, and then I have a tools folder in my, in my user directory. So this tools folder, and I can go ahead and make a new folder just for my auto hotkey scripts. So auto hotkey, I don't remember if it was key or keys, but I'm gonna, you can always rename that if you want. So now I'm just going to drag and drop this into the tools slash auto hotkey. And so now it's in here and this doesn't actually do anything. It's just for, you know, safekeeping. So now let's go ahead and turn off the computer and restart it and then see if that works. So I'm gonna be right back. All right, so I'm back, I restarted the computer. Let's go ahead and open up a Chrome tab. I'm gonna drag it over here and then Control T to open up a new tab. So that works out of the box, that's fantastic. Go any direction. And then let's try typing in Vim to see if we can use the escape key. So I press A to get into insert mode, caps lock, and we are back. So this is super awesome. So now I can finally start using Vim again on Windows. All right, and that is it for this tutorial. Have a good day. Thank you for watching the video. Please subscribe to our channel and click the bell to be notified when we release new tutorials. Also be sure to like the video and leave a comment to let us know what you think. Lastly, check out the link or links in the description. We usually create a blog post to go with the tutorial and we might have a newsletter or course or something to check out as well. Have a good day and I'll see you next time.